This is finding solution sets, giving them their name with Juice Ball. The domain is usually the input of an equation, which is most times the x value, and the range is the output, known as the answer. So, I have this equation, 3x squared plus y equals 18. So first, you need to subtract 3x squared from both sides so you can get the, get the y by itself to solve this equation. After you have subtract negative after you subtract 3x squared, you have y equals negative 3x squared plus 18. And then the domain set is at the top. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. If it says find the domain set, if it doesn't give you one, then most times you can just use these seven numbers. So first, you have to plug the numbers into the equation. So first, it's y equals negative 3 times negative 3 squared plus 18. Negative 3 squared is 9. 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. Negative 27 plus 18 is negative 11. So you would write this negative 311. Y, the next number, is negative 2. Y equals negative 3 times negative 2 squared plus 18. Negative 2 squared is 4. 3 times 4, negative 3 times 4, is negative 12. Negative 12 plus 18 is 6. You do like this, this problem, negative 2, 6. Next, you plug in negative 1. y equals negative 3 times negative 1 squared plus 18. Negative 1 squared is 1. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 18 is 15. You'd write this problem negative 1, 15. And then you plug in 0. 0 squared is 0. That doesn't mean that it's just negative 3 plus 18. You still have the 0 there. So you have to times negative 3 by 0, which is also 0. Then 0 plus 18 is 18. So this one would be written as 0, 18. The next number is 1. y equals negative 3 times 1 squared plus 18. 1 squared is 1. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 18 is 15. Now you might be wondering why we get the same answer as we did for negative 1. That's because whenever you square a number, it is always positive. So therefore, you get the same answer. The next number you plug in is 2. Negative 3 times 2 squared plus 18. 2 squared is 4. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Negative 12 plus 18 is 6. So you'd write this one, 2, 6. Now the last number is 3. y equals negative 3 times 3 squared plus 18. 3 squared is 9. 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. Negative 27 plus 18 is negative 11. So this one would be written as 3, negative 11. Now after you get done solving the equation for x, putting the domain values in, and figuring the answers out, for your final answer, you would put brackets you put all the sets in brackets. That's because since the domain set was given to you in brackets, 
you should give the answer back in brackets. Just like a set of ordered pairs. Well, I hope this helped you out. Until next time, this is Juice Ball. See ya.